All right, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna help you learn how to string your Lug guitar like a pro. Like a pro. We'll also talk about how to tune it. Now, you might need to change your strings or replace a string if you've broken one, or maybe you've just had them on and, and they've never been changed and they just look rusty and sound sort of bad. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tips to make this go really fast and to have it work out really well. But be careful! There's a couple little things you have to watch out for and I've just been doing this for my whole life so I can give you a lot of things that'll make you awesome at this. And finally, while most of my videos are great for kids to use on their own, for this one, there needs to be a grown up there since we'll be making the strings very tight and using some sharp tools. So this process will work on any of the three string Lug guitars. I've got a Lug acoustic and a Lug mini here. You can also use this for the new Lug electric guitars. For the six string ones, you can figure out the rest just by watching this, so it's good no matter what guitar you have. For this specific video, I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to try for a while, which is actually change the original strings that come with the Lug Pro Acoustic to a different kind of string that is a little bit easier for young fingers. Now there's lots of little tools and things people have made to make changing strings easier, but there's only three things that we really need today. And that is a Lug guitar, your new strings, and a pair of wire cutters. So by the way, recently Lug gave me a discount code to use with my students and YouTube subscribers. I can't guarantee this will work forever, but just check the, the uh, description below the video so you can see if that's still current. Uh, you could save some money on your strings or instruments. All right, our first step is to remove the old strings from the guitar. Now they make something called a string winder that looks like this, which can make the process a little bit faster but you've only got three strings to worry about here, so no problem to just do it manually by twisting until the string gets so low, it's barely even a note. And to do that for all of them. Any special tool that I use here, I'll put a link to it on Amazon so that you can pick these up if you see yourself changing strings often. Once we got our strings good and loose, then we can pull the strings upwards and off of the tuning pegs here. Now, you notice I'm wearing glasses here. Uh, you wanna watch your eyes here so you don't accidentally like pull one off and poke yourself. Something to look out for here, this little piece, that might fall out depending on if it's glued in or not, so just be careful not to lose that. Now, to continue, this part could be different depending on if you have a Lug acoustic or a Lug electric. For the acoustic, you'll have something called bridge pins, which are little plastic pins that hold the string into this part called the bridge. If you have an electric Lug, uh, your bridge is gonna look a little bit different. So I'll show you something similar on my, my full-size Stratocaster here. But you're gonna have three things sort of like this. And what you're probably gonna need to do is either sort of put the strings down in there and they'll, they'll pull tight that way, or your guitar might have a slot in the back for the strings to pull through. Now, to get these out, I used to use wire cutters and try to pry them out, but I always cut my pins up and it's not so good. What you can do is use a spoon as sort of a wedge and pull them out that way. Okay, the next thing that I like to do is use a little bit of guitar polish and a microfiber cloth to clean things up. Polish just keeps the finish lasting longer and it just makes it sparkle and look really nice. Totally unnecessary though. All right, now it's time to put on the new strings. Now for most of you, what you want to do is go to the Lug website and order the pack of strings designed for your exact guitar. Now when I first went to the website and saw the price of the strings, I thought, ah, 20 bucks for a pack of strings? But then I realized there's actually three sets of strings in here. By the way, for this whole process, it would be good to have the student or the child watch you do this because kids get a sense of ownership and responsibility if they learn to take care of their own guitars. So while a lot of you will use these strings, I'm going to use a different pack. Because I told you, I'm going to use nylon strings in this guitar instead of the steel strings that would usually come with it. So we open up our pack here and all string packs work pretty much the same way. Uh, usually there's gonna be a label telling you which string you're looking at. Okay, so here's a quick bonus tip for those of you who are using a Lug Pro Acoustic. The reasons you might wanna consider nylon uh, is if your child is under eight and they're just having a hard time getting enough pressure uh, and finger strength to press down the strings and have it get a good clean sound like this. The nylon makes that easier to do.
And if you're using strings that come from the Lug store designed for your guitar, uh, you don't have to worry about this. Now, if you're going to nylon, you have two choices, actually. Uh, I'll explain this and then I'll give you my recommendation. You could either choose to use the high E, the B, and the G string, the highest sounding three strings of your new pack of strings, or you could actually use the B, G, and D strings of your new pack. If you're changing over to nylon for the purpose of making it really easy to press down, I actually think that you should use the three highest sounding strings. Go ahead and do that if your child is under seven, seven and a half. Uh, if they're older and you just wanna you know, try nylon in this guitar for a different sound and the steel wasn't that hard for them to press, then I think you should use the B, G, and D strings. So let's keep going. So right now I've got them set up in order from thinnest to thickest. Now this type of string will usually simply have the string cut off here and it just ends like that. So what we have to do in order to keep the sticking inside of the bridge here is we have to tie a knot on the end. Some strings have what we call a ball end, which looks like this. So instead of having to tie a knot, it's already got this thing built in that will keep the string stuck in the bridge. Now, in order to tie that knot, first I'll untangle my string here. I'm gonna do a simple I think it's just called an overhand knot. Here we go, one of these first knots most people learn. And if you don't do the exact same thing I do, it's probably gonna be fine, so don't, don't stress yourself too much. Now a good tip is to add one more twist in there. I'm just gonna take this end and keep going the same direction down and through one more time, just as backup. Then I get to tighten things up. So if you got a pair of pliers, that could be useful to, to grab on there. Perfect, so now we got this. So right here, my high E string is ready to go in, so it just goes back into the bridge. And we take a bridge pin. You'll notice there's a notch in one side of the pin. That notch should face this way, so the string can sort of nestle in there. We set the top of the bridge pin, I guess the bottom of it, on top of that little ball, and we just push down and secure it just with a little bit of pressure there. Now that string is locked in place there and I can pull pretty hard, it's not gonna pop out. Then we'll just go through the other two strings just in the same way. Now I'm gonna make a judgment call here that for this last string I'm gonna put on, from my pack, I'm only gonna use one knot because this string is pretty thick already and I think that's gonna hold. Rock on! So everything is anchored here in the bridge. Now it's time to anchor them onto the top of the guitar on our tuning pegs. So let's go in the same order before. I'll start with what this guitar would consider the high E string. And what we're gonna do is just thread it through this little hole that we see inside this post. Now it's going to go from this side and then through, not the other way around like this. So. Yeah, now people have some different ways of tying it off here, but the first thing that you definitely wanna do is choose an appropriate amount of string to pull through. Now right now, this is a good tip for you. I've got sort of a triangle shape here. I've got a point here, a point here, and then up here. If the triangle is too big, we're gonna to have to twist this thing around here forever and we're gonna have a big bunch of string there just all balled up. If we pull too much through and we've got a triangle that's like this, then we're not gonna really have a secure string and there's a chance that it could like pop off. So we'll go back to something like this here. Now probably the simplest way to teach you this is just to tie another overhand knot. Pull that good and tight. And with my string tied, I wanna twist it in this direction so that my string is gonna start to wind around that post. <laughs> so I keep looking, I've got an overhead camera and I keep looking up. One other tip here that's useful, you notice this hand here is sort of holding it down as I twist. That's helping it just get a nice line here and it's all gonna twist up nice and clean. And at some point, the magic is gonna happen where the string gets tight enough to start making some sound when you pluck it. And the pitch keeps getting a bit higher and that's how you know you did a good job and everything's good. Let's keep going, let's do our other two strings. The middle one, and the third one. Okay, so all my strings are in place. Now they're not in tune yet. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. 
By the way, I'm a full-time music teacher. I work with kids in person and online. Uh, if you might want to help your young one get a really good foundation in guitar, ukulele, and lug guitar, uh, I might be able to help you with different options. Now for this next part, I'm just going to keep making sure each string is getting a note I don't want it to be super high or super tight, so this is sort of how you want it. A thing that I've been doing for the last couple of years is I stretch my strings out a little bit at this point. Most strings, especially the nylon ones like I'm using here, they, uh, they take a while to get into perfect tune. So just taking a minute or two to pull on them gently, and good job, you've officially changed your strings. <laughs> Now all we have to do is get the guitar in tune and then snip the extra off at the end. So tuning is just like whenever you have your old strings on, it's the same process. So I'll show you that here in case you haven't seen it before. By the way, uh, stay tuned for future videos that help kids learn their first songs on Luke guitar, guitar, and ukulele. The best way to stay tuned is to subscribe. Now, there are many different tools that can help you get your guitar in tune. Uh, one of them is a clip-on tuner. This is what I usually use. But probably the easiest way, if you don't know much about music yet, is to use the Lug app. You can download it really easily. It's in the App Store for Android and iPhone. So I'm gonna open up my Lug app here. And the tuning icon is this bottom left corner here. And you've got choices here, auto or manual. I'll show you manual. What you do is you click the string you wanna tune, first, second, or third. So first is my high E string, or we could also call it the first string. So one, two, three. So we click on that and we play our note. It's saying too low, tighten the string. Then I'm gonna twist this over here and my note's starting to go higher. Now it might take a while to get close to the note that you want and you're gonna start to see this little arrow and this little dial going more towards the center when we get closer to the note. Yeah! So that takes a while with nylon strings, that's okay. And even though I just got it in tune, it's still gonna keep dropping and we'll have to keep tuning it up over a period of time until it sort of stabilizes. Now, I find this tuner to be really accurate, but if you ever feel like you keep cranking and cranking and the string just gets so high it sounds like it's about to break, it's possible you went too far, so then you might wanna just back up and, and restart your tuner and make sure you don't go too far over. Again, I'm wearing glasses here. You wanna protect your eyes in case a string should ever happen to break. Then we just go through and do the same thing on our next two strings. Then we make sure we click the second string and that gives us a preview of what it should sound like. And we're done. Right after you tune your guitar, you'll probably have to go back and do that whole thing another time, uh, especially if you have nylon strings. Uh, and for the first couple days after you change your strings, you're gonna have a pretty big adjustment to make to get back into tune. After a few weeks, it'll be very quick to get it back into tune. Now, the most fun part is the final touch. We're gonna clip these strings, but be careful! There's something I've done and other people have done that you really don't wanna do. When it's time to snip these, you wanna make sure you find the, the dead side of the string instead of snipping there, because if you're in a hurry, you're not paying attention, you snip right there, you're gonna undo all that work you just did. All right, I've just changed my strings to nylon and I'm happy with the sound. Definitely a bit easier to press here with my left hand. Thanks for supporting your kids in music. Uh, stay tuned for future videos that help kids learn their first songs on Luke guitar, guitar, and ukulele. The best way to stay tuned is to subscribe. Woo, that's all, friends. You did a great job. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Well done, and I'll see you next time.